welcome to Vapor. On today's show, I will be reviewing the April Zample Box, which if you watched my last video, it might come as a bit of a surprise because I said last month's was the last Zample Box at the beginning. But I got an email from Zample Box uh, prior to April 1st saying they'd be sending the boxes early and I did not catch that until after it was already sent. So looks like we have a April sample box, but this will be the last one. I guarantee it. So without further ado, let's crack this open and see what's inside. So once we take the box and open it up, like so, we have our April taste menu, which it says there is a la mode, DK Parfait, Island Dream, Star Hunter, Terror Sphere, and Tropical Twist. Sounds pretty good. Open the box and we have stickers. Important announcement. Read that later. Uh, another important announcement. The same one. Has to do with the vape mail ban. Rating card. And, of course, all the juices. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time because every time I do it, I'll wake up an RDA and juice it but it never gets the a proper amount of time to saturate it so that you get like the full body of the flavor because it doesn't come through within like a couple minutes when you first wake up an rda it takes time for that juice to properly saturate that cotton so you have to wait you know maybe 15 minutes 30 minutes the, lo the longer you wait the longer you break in that cotton the more flavor profile actually comes through on it and to make these videos, it would take literally all day to do a sample box video. So what I'm going to do instead is something I've seen from another guy's video. We just taste it straight from the bottle, which, I mean, it's just taste testing like you would do at the base shop. So that's what I'm going to do this time. And then the one that I think is the best, that one I'll wick up. Give it time to saturate, break it in just a little bit. And then I'll come back on later to show you like a cloud production, what the actual flavor profile it is so that you have a better idea for it. But as we know in the past, usually three or four of these are like, you know, meh, not all that great or they're terrible. So let's just uh, open these up and taste them and see what we got. So the first flavor we have up is by a company called Vapor's Choice. The flavor is a la mode. It says that it is a vanilla cheesecake custard profile, and I love cheesecake. So vanilla cheesecake custard sounds pretty amazing. Let's hope it actually tastes amazing. I definitely taste the cheesecake. The vanilla is very good. Custard, not really tasting the custard. I think they missed the mark on that. Uh, but cheesecake is the very strongest note you taste right away, followed by the vanilla. Custard is kind of non-existent, but it is delicious. It actually tastes like I just ate cheesecake. So at least they nailed it as far as tasting good, but just slightly off mark with the custard. So far, it's number one. Let's try the next one. So the next flavor we have coming up is by a company called Full Metal Juice. It's called DK Parfait. Uh, flavor profile is supposed to be creamy, strawberry, and banana. Now, I do not have a good track record with Full Metal Juice. I've had, like, I believe four or five of their different flavors in the past, and they've always missed the mark. So maybe this one can vindicate it. I mean... 
There are a lot of strawberry flavors out there as far as e-juice go because strawberry seems like it's one of the easiest flavors to emulate. That said though, this is strawberry and banana and we all know banana can be very hit or miss. So let's take a taste and see if full metal juice can vindicate it. So. That nails the strawberry. Surprisingly, the banana actually tastes like banana. It's very good. Uh, the creamy part, not so much. I, I don't really taste this creamy part, but uh, strawberry and the banana, surprisingly, very good. Very good. This is actually very delicious. Currently number two. Well done, Full Metal Juice. You finally made one that tastes halfway decent. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next flavor we have coming up is by a company called High Class Lime. It is called Island Dream. Island Dream's taste profile is vanilla ice cream with pineapple. I'm not much of a fan of pineapple with my ice cream to begin with, so... I'm not sure how this one's going to go. This one I might be a little bit biased on. I'm going to try not to be. But we'll see. I taste the pineapple. The ice cream is kind of confusing with it. it. The vanilla ice cream tastes more like, almost like coconut. Slightly, maybe the pineapple is just throwing off the flavor, but it tastes a little more closely related to like maybe a pina colada, perhaps. It's actually not bad. If you take it for a pina colada, because pina coladas are pretty good, you might like it, but I don't know, it's missing the mark really on like the ice cream part, the vanilla, really. It's mostly pineapple and Flavors that could be mistaken for pina colada. So, on to the next one. The next flavor we're going to have coming up comes from a company called Space Jam. It's called Star Hunter. Star Hunter. Hmm. Profile is a natural peach lemonade. So, that would be interesting. I do like lemonade. It's the green colored like slime. Peach. Lemonade. Yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good actually. Tastes exactly like peach lemonade. That's delicious. That would have to be my number one for today. So Space Jam, Star Hunter. That's right on. Next flavor we have up is by the same company. I got another one from Space Jam. This one is called Terror Sphere. It says it's a lemon lime cherry flavor. Last one tasted delicious. I don't know about the name Terror Sphere though. It kind of reminds me of the name of that terrible MTV show, Terradice. Yeah, you know the one with Tara Reed. God, I hope it's nothing like that. Mmm. Lemon cherry. It's got a nice cherry flavor. It's not like um, medicine-y at all. It tastes like a like a cherry candy, maybe, but not overly sweet. And it's got the lemon too, but it's not like overpowering lemon because lemon can be a very strong flavor. It's very well balanced, actually. It's, it's pretty delicious, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. This one tastes like something you could probably vape on all day long and you wouldn't get tired of it. So lemon lime cherry from Space Jam, Terror Spear. Yeah, I think that one takes the the one spot, the first place so far, with one more juice to go, will it beat out the Terra Sphere? 
Well, last but not least, we have from a company called Mod Vape. It's called Tropical Twist. And the description of the flavor profile just says tropical fruit. So, I mean, that could mean the spectrum, really. So, let's see what fruits we can actually taste of the tropical fruits that we can pull out of this. Papaya. Mango. Pineapple. Guava. A bit of guava. Take a little more. Maybe a tiny hint of cherry and watermelon. It's got it's got a lot of flavor to it. I, I was I'm actually surprised, to tell you the truth. I mean, when it said tropical fruits, I was a bit skeptical because there's such a broad spectrum that they could just be, you know, lazy and just like just whatever, dump some shit in there and just be like, yeah, it's got a tropical ish profile, you know. But no, they they actually must have done their homework because this has a very like broad but like technical like flavor profile to it like there's just there's like hints that when it hits your tongue right away that come through like immediately and then, then the longer it kind of like saturates in there that's when you start picking up the other notes of the other flavors this is actually a very good complex vape juice it's it's really good and i'm actually this one tastes like slightly better but because of the potential profile of all the flavors in there with this one now, it's just like it's it's close enough where I want to see what the vaping potential is this with like the inhale and then the exhale and like through the nose and what other notes I could possibly pick up. So I'm going to saturate my RDA with this one and get it a little bit broken in, pass it through a few times so it gets really worked into that coil in the cotton. Then I'm going to come back up top, vape on it, and show you guys what the cloud production is like, and as well as give you what the actual profile is when I vape it. So I'm going to hop off the camera, be back in a few, and I'll show you what this Mod Vape Tropical Twist Tropical Fruit Flavor can actually do. Okay, I'm back, and I've been... Vaping on this for a while, got it all saturated, broken in, tasted it for a bit. Um, right now, coming in at triple nickel on the wattage. Um, try it out, see what it tastes like. Well, on the inhale, you're getting like a, like a passion fruit and the papaya. We have a little bit of guava on the inhale. On the exhale, you're getting more of like a pineapple. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's, 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 let's try it through the nose. Tasting, uh, the mango comes through good through the nose, and so does the guava. Again, passion fruit, really good. Pineapple on the back of the tongue. Yeah, this stuff's really good. It's got a very nice, smooth, uh, complex flavor profile. I didn't think it was going to be anywhere near this good when I was looking at it I thought it was they're gonna take the easy way out and it would just be like it would taste like fruit it wouldn't be indistinguishable fruit but but no it, it's actually surprisingly really well balanced and quite delicious this is my my favorite flavor again if you're gonna buy this one it's by mod vape and the flavor is tropical twist um, I don't know where else you get this other than sample box. Let's see if I can get some focus on here. Focus. But yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. This is definitely an all-day 
vape juice, and I actually highly recommend this one. But these ones were delicious too, so apparently Space Jam, never had them before, very delicious as well. So this is a very close first, second, and even second, third. These were all heavyweight contenders today's show, so yeah, definitely. If you're going to uh, try some vape juice you've never tried before, Space Jam looks like it's a... Uh, a good one, and uh, also Mod Vape. So thank you for joining me today on this, the last of the Zample Box Vape Shows. Uh, I'm thinking about sourcing my juices through other means in the future. Haven't decided on which one I'm going to use yet, but when I do, I will put on a show just for you. So until then, y'all know what to do. Later, vapers.